In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate lead time. To learn how to calculate tap time, we've got a separate video. We've also got a longer video that explains the differences between cycle time, tap time and lead time. The links for both of those are in the comments below. So how to calculate lead time with a worked example. See here we have a stripped down value stream map and the value stream map shows you womb to tomb from gates in to dispatch gates what happens to a product as it goes through a factory. You see we've got suppliers on the left and the processes that are used to transform the parts in the factory. Process A, B, C, then painted, then assembly, then they're finished goods, then they're shipped to the customer. Lead time aims to measure that time and how long effectively it takes to get a part through your factory. If it had to go in the first gate, then fight its way through all the inventory waiting between processes, get processed and fight through the next pile of inventory, etc. So, see on the next picture, we have the process there pulled out. A, B, C, paint and assembly. We've got the customer in the top right, which is important here because we have to convert inventory into time. And we do that by knowing that one day demand is 70 parts in the top right. So the 1,400 parts of raw materials there, you divide it by 70, 20 days. So that 1,400 parts represents 20 days. Then you go through all the other I inventory accumulated between the processes and you convert them into days. So between process B and C, 70 parts, or 70 parts of inventory divided by 70 parts demand per day, that's one day. And you can see that if you add all these up, 20 days plus 2.4 days plus one plus two plus five plus four, that gives us a lead time of 34.4 days. That's the time it takes to get one part through your factory from start to finish. Now, for a bonus, you can see that I've also added up the cycle times in the boxes here under A, B, C, paint and assembly. And the actual transformation time, the value added time, is less than half an hour. So you need to be asking yourself questions. If we could notionally get one part through the entire manufacturing facility in less than half an hour, why is it taking us 34.4 days? And at the bottom there, you can see I've just put on the graphic uh, the final image, 34.4 days represents that entire lead time. 